So yesterday, we got hit with a couple of wrong place, wrong times, and that's okay. That's just how Tarkov works. Uh, we're definitely going back to customs, though. We only need three more kills to finally get rid of this silly little quest line, and then I think we're actually done on Shoreline for a while. Or not Shoreline, Customs. Uh, we did get back some insurance, so let's go ahead and grab that. They took the guns every single time, for shockingly enough reasons. Uh, but they left everything else, so... Yeah, figure that one out. I even got back my killer armor. Let's go ahead and repair you. And if we're gonna take you, we're obviously gonna have to take the tan you lock. I mean, that's just that's just rules. I I want to build another one of those MCXs. I was enjoying that thing. That is a nice that's a nice little weapon. I think it's a little pricey, but so it feels almost like the answer to the M4 meta, where they were like, here's a gun, you can't quite make it as laser pointer accurate as the M4, but you can get it close and the ammunition is just a little bit better than the 8.56 A1. So, I don't know, I just, I enjoy it. I think it's a fun little gun. It feels good, it looks good. Let's not. <laughs> Let's, let's not. I meant to click the UHF, but that's all right. Actually, let's do, let's do a Neotech. Uh, let's do 5.53 five, versus zero versus, let's do a two. I don't know why. And six inch. What's the difference between, is there literally a difference between these two? Nothing at all. Probably just availability. Uh, the RK1. And I think we figured out that the pistol grip really didn't do much of anything, so we're just going to leave it. And we'll get another little side mount there. Okay. Uh, we're just going to assemble. Buy parts. Exclude. Get the traders. Yeah. I mean, the, the priciest thing is the, the uh, suppressor, which, you know, understandable. I guess I could go without the suppressor. But, I don't know. I feel like suppressors are kind of necessary in a lot of regards. Oh, come on. There's, look at all this space. There is so much space. You are so full of it, game. Just because you couldn't move it over one row to put that thing on. That was literally it. Okay. Anyways. Uh, wait, where's my... Do I already have a three? I must have a... Do, 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 yep. There we go. And... What else? We have the mask that we could turn in. I don't think I want to take the Zazmut in. I think I'm going to hang on to that thing, so we'll swap that out for... We'll take a Commando. Because we're matching the tan. Commando tan. Tan Nando. Wait. All right. We got that, we got that, we got that, we got that. We need more magazines and some ammunition. Do I have any... I could just use these. They just don't look right, you know? They all basically do the same thing, so let's let's try to match the gun here. Let's, uh, let's unload this real quick. I just want to see which looks better. I, I kind of like this one better, to be perfectly honest. Like, I feel it fits the aesthetic of the gun a little bit better than the rig, the ribbed one here. So I think we'll stick with that. Uh, filter by. Purchase three more. Doop 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 doop. All right. Unload. Load. And then let's top off our thing here. Uh, let's make sure we take our stack of rubly doos so that way we can get out if we get the uh, get the good spawn. Where did I put my blackouts? Blackouts, where are you? There you are.
Okay. Looking good. Let's go to the hideout real quick, because I apparently have something going on there. I Was I making another grenade case, or maybe I, maybe it's just the Bitcoin? I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, it's just the Bitcoin. So we'll get that. Let's go ahead and check our generator. We can pop that out. So that should be the second one that we need to be able to craft another one of these. We'll have to buy this, we'll buy three more of these. Okay, and go. There we go. So we'll have that rolling. That should actually just nearly put us over the top on euros. Uh, a little bit more. We'll need a little bit more of the euros. But it'll get us close to being able to buy a eye case, and that eye case will be super handy. You throw so much crap in there. All right. Uh, what else do I need here? I need meds. <laughs> okay. Five. Couple of grenades. Again, not that I ever remember to use them, but I have them. So they're there, in spirit. And... I think that's pretty much it. Let's sell that Bitcoin to see how much it goes for now. Oh, we're at uh, six something. Ah, we're down to the fives now. Ouch. Ouch. We're we're draining funds now. We're getting down there. Won't be long before it's sub 500 and people start complaining about the fact that you have to trade in the treacherous and a uh, green battery to get a Bitcoin. Speaking of which, how much are these going for? Still up into the... They were actually in the 40s for a while, but now they're back up into the 50s. You need them in order to craft the uh, level 3 rest space. So that kind of stinks that they made that part of the... Nope, oh, I have no more of those. That so they made that part of the uh, Bitcoin trade. Maybe they'll change that. Alright, so there's our guy. Looking good. I feel like the smoke mask does not fit the aesthetic, though. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out. And instead take the mustache. Much better. <laughs> All right, so this should hopefully be our final run on customs. That is the only thing that we have left to do right there. So let's go ahead one last time, go to customs. Hopefully have a nice, quiet run. And, uh, and be done with it. And then we can start moving on to shoreline and woods and all the other stuff I've been neglecting. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm going to dorms then, because literally right there. Wasn't planning on it, but this is now happening. And who knows, maybe there'll be a couple of scavs there for me to pop off. I forgot to put a flashlight on this. Well, he just literally spawned in.
Why did I hear glass breaking? Really? A ketter? boy. Ah. I know the other guy's coming. down there for now. Need to check this guy for grenades.
Oh, he's rank one? Poor guy. Risky move of the day. Dude, you're not hurt anymore. Stop that. Thank you. There's a dude blasting from the other side. Although I don't know if that was a player or a raider. Nobody's coming up so far. Just mainly loading these for the mag drills. I'm pretty much gonna just get out. We're gonna take the truck. We're gonna go. We're pretty banged up. Seeing people do this a lot. Just running full grizzlies. Not sure exactly why.
It's been super quiet after that fight. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm overweight, I'd almost consider staying in, but... It'd be nice to take this guy's stuff out. Fights were had by all. I feel bad for that level one, but, uh, you know, he should get his stuff back. I don't think, I don't think anyone is going to go after that stuff. Oof. First dude I got with the headshot, so that felt tasty. BP. So he was running BP, so good on him. M995. Oh, hiccup. Little M995 sitting up in that other dude's stuff. That was a kid at M4 right there. That was a chunky M4. But in the end, the MCX won out. And we got a hex grid out of it, so that's nice. Especially since I lost my other one. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and roll it back. The DLV DVL Urbana. We are, we're actually going to keep this. Because we have to go and do some killing on woods, and I think this would be a fun gun to take in. I do, I do. Alright, so... Yeah. Room. I needs it. Yep, M995 all the way through. Is this like a meta M4 build? 42 recoil, yeah? 52 ergo, yep, yep, that's pretty... That's pretty hot to try right there. It's even got a uh, advanced red tube sitting inside of it. Not bad. I don't have room for any of this stuff. Help. I need that items case. I need it. Maybe we could just do this. I don't even know why I'm keeping these mags, but at least they're out of the way now. All right, so let's reload. Uh, we could drop this. There we go. And then we need to pick up some more of the AP, which we can just buy straight from the Peacekeeper. I'm enjoying this ammo type. I'm glad that they made the recoil changes that allow me to actually, like, utilize this stuff in a fun manner now, you know? Uh, hey, and I remembered to use my grenades. That's a thing that happened. <laughs> All right, so we need to go back one more time. Don't quite have enough. We need a little bit more in the rublays. Let's go in here. Let's split this up. Uh, give me 2k more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. All right, that's good. The SSD we'll hang on to for the trade. Dolares we'll put in there. These guys will be sold. Don't need all these grenades, so I'll go ahead and swap. Sell those out so I can grab another Morphine, because the Morphine applies just a little bit faster. Uh, let's grab another Silwa. And a five there. There we go, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and repair you. God, the armor just repairs so well. Love it. And... Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's buy my allotted... Five of these, so I have them for later. It feels so nice to just be able to spend money. 
He's so nice. All right, and we need food or drink. Uh, I guess it couldn't hurt. We got a good supply of stuff, so we can go ahead and consume that stuff. I'm still saving for the Holodilnik. That's what I was thinking of. So for you, I'll just go ahead and use one of my sprats. Nope. Use, not filter by. Use all. And grab a little bit more of the water. There we go. And we're good to go. Now. I have a feeling. Hang on. Let's go ahead and put a flashlight back on here. I have a feeling that we are going to potentially get the same spawn that we just had because that seems to be the way that things are going right now. I don't know why. You just seem to always get the same one. Uh, everything is insured. Got the ammo. Got that. Okay. So if we do get it again, we'll just rush storms again. Otherwise, hopefully we'll get a spawn a little bit nearer to where the scavs are so we can get in there and just take care of some scavs. We only need two more. Two more scavs. That's it. <clears throat> Ooh, we did not get the same spawn. Excellent. This spawn actually works out well in our favor. Look at the size of this flashlight, though. Uh, no filter. Alright, today's mission. Find a slightly smaller filter. Or, uh, flashlight. I don't even need that. supply on there? Yes, it is. Oh, so we got a cat. So this does blood loss. I'm kind of curious to see how it actually functions. Who knows? Maybe we'll get shot. Wouldn't have a heavy bleed. We heard a shot over at Old Gas. Let's hope that, uh... Let's hope that somebody didn't get that kill. Oh, another lobby. Drop all of his stuff, so hopefully it comes back to him. I wonder why there's such an influx of new players. Is it an influx of new players or is it people starting a new, new account or something? Because they've grown bored is the question. Check the giving tree. 
It giveth a banana clip. Fantastic. Party over there. I think I'm gonna go over to this stash. Just casually check it out. Warning, snipper ahead. He you, you will snip you good. I saw him for a split second there. It is dangerous for me to be out here like this, but, uh... Oh. Yeah, they're definitely playing on the stairs. That? No, that's not sniper scav, is it? Alright. Now that we got shots coming from that side, I don't really want to play with this anymore. Like super close. It's over the. Oh, he's up in the. Yeah, he's up in this building. Oh, he's outside. Interesting. Oh, that's what I need. Unbelievable. I have the patat. I hit him once. Uh, 
Sir, do you have a half mask? Half mask, sir? No? Okay. Hmm. I'll take that for my, uh... DVL. In fact, to make sure I get out with it, because that's o that only has two charges left. I heard plinking over there, which I may have. I may have. It has been enough time in the raid. These people may be over here by now. Damn, that's a nasty barrel. Cayman. Mm, do I? Brought all the things. Although, all right, let's drop this here real quick. Want to make sure I get that kill armor back. That thing repairs too well to not bring back out.
All right, let's get our final stuff packed here. And we'll start making our way out. Level four, high ricochet, combined materials. It's a nice looking helmet. I like the aesthetic he was going for. AP63, all right. Fucking hell, I'm empty. Okay, so he was just running on fumes at this point. Let's see. No, come back. Come back, Scav. I need you. Please. Thank you, Scav. Mwah. Oh, wait. Half mask. This. Ah, okay. Huzzah! I could just gracefully exfil. And of course, by gracefully, I mean run around like a madman. Hopefully, I hoping I get out. And don't run into anyone else. Just a nice casual extract life for me, please. Ooh. Making sure I still got a slot. Oh my god, sniper scav. He does exist! Now my greatest hope upon us all that the Yusek roadblock is open. Or UN roadblock, whatever it is, it's a roadblock. They block roads, and it's not. means I get to run across the land bridge. Huzzah. Oh. All right. Seriously. This little bush right here. Right here. Corner of my eye. Made my heart jump. <laughs> I was like, oh no. There's a man crouched in there. I'm going to die. But even worse, it was shrubbery all along. The 
shrubbery is out to get me, you see. Tell you what, this MCX, I'm falling in love with it. This gun has been doing me right. Bringing around the tree. Literally, so this side of the tree is not an exfil. This side of the tree is an exfil. That makes no sense. How about over here? Exfil. Still an exfil. Still an exfil. Okay. Weird. Weird wild stuff, man. Tasty. Oh, and we finally got the Pokemon Hobo done! It's over. No more. It has ceased to be. We have completed the level 10 quest. <laughs> and I bet you there's no follow up. I bet you that was just some random thing. I bet you. Let's find out. I legitimately clicked trade, not hideout. Thank ya. Beep at me. Rapport tasks the Polkim Hobo complete. Here, take those. Two more. Regulated materials. Take them. Never gonna find that. Never gonna find that. Actually, that's not true. Because I do actually need to go to... Um... Uh... What am I thinking of? Reserve. I need to go to Reserve to do the initial quest line there. So... Wow, this dude was running real low on ammo. Real low. Hmm. TTV, by the way. And Pietrovos and the Tennessee Kid. Oh, poor Tennessee Kid. All right, so not enough time to do things. However, we can take our scav and look at this little setup here. That scope is coming off immediately. Immediately. Like, I am going on the woods. And I'm still taking the scope off because it is garbage. Just hot garbage. Hey bud, how you doing? You have literally the same gun I do. How does that make you feel? That's what I thought. Yeah, this, like, it just gives you no viewpoint. It's just not good. I am not a fan. Make it go away. Just give me the iron sight and I'll deal. Alright, so we're at Village. Village is a semi-decent loot spot. Uh, scav, bunker, RUAF roadblock. Alright, that's easy enough. And as opposed to the usual 15 minutes that we have, we have 25 this time, so that's nice. Uh, this place is a good place for MREs and food and textiles. Find a lot of, uh, ripstops and fleeces and such on the, uh, on these things over here and on the table. I concur. Uh, nothing up here.
He does have a bigger backpack, but not by much. Don't think I can justify that shot. All right, grenade case here. Plus I have an azimuth, so that's good. I think there's another grenade case somewhere nearby, but I can't remember. Got some cactite. Come in here, usually there's some stuff up here, PP. Sometimes the thing up in here, we got a screw. The driver variety. Not the beverage, but the actual tool. Of course, the beverage will sometimes turn people into that tool, so. Uh, ooh. Dink. And sprats. And kvass. I actually don't think I need to take an extra MRE. I have the last one that I need for the quest line already, so that's... Extra slot I can use. Or vodka. Gunny. Not a, not a, there's the other grenade case. I knew there was one. Happy to take those. Five of these and five of the fuses gets you... Chill. Gets you eight of the, uh... Bog 25s. Which are definitely some rock solid explosives. Especially for indoor places. I would take them over the Vog 10s because the Vog 10s have such a low explosion radius. Or Kvass. I don't know why I'm taking them. I don't need them, but take them. Fill the slots and then start playing with the, uh, the items after the fact. Is that your head? That's his head. I could take that shot right here and now. No one would ever know. I guess I'd know. Can't kill for sport, gotta kill for backpack. Drift stop, it's a hard drive. Basketball. Upstairs? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Ah, oh, there's a bag. And a 3M armor. No good reason. And toilet paper, because COVID. Alright, so I will go ahead. Actually. Uh, drop the alkali first. The gunpowder. Uh, the gunpowder is not worth as much as the alkali. However, the gunpowder is worth a craft for ammunition. So I feel that's the better choice. Look at him just running around like a fool. Oh, there's two of them. There's three of them. They're everywhere. They're in the trees. Well, bush. They're next to a tree, though. Alright, let's go up to Sniper Rock. We can hit up the... bunker up there. So, if you don't know, the bunker up at Sniper Rock is notorious for spawning gold chains. So if you need them for chumming or just for money, a good place to go for them. They don't always spawn, but I'd say it's about a 35-40% chance. Just have to know how to get there without breaking your ankles. Which, <laughs> so when we took our four-man crew in, I brought them down and one of our guys, he didn't break his legs. He blacked them out, and I don't know how he did that. It's kind of amazing, actually. And we can see a sniper scav is up. A 
Glug. Kraken. Uh, Rumble. And a wreck battery. I'll take the wreck battery. I think that's the best out of all of those for a single slot cell. Alright, so you come down here. You come down here. And then you come down here, and once you get to about this point, start holding backwards and to the right, and just keep backtracking against the wall. And it will get you down here without doing any damage at all. Then, just come over here. Start hopping like a billy goat. Or a mountain goat if you prefer, I guess that's more apt. Waste all of your stamina. There we go. And this is the Notorious Bunker. Now, you'll find horses and you'll find gold chains. Looks like this time it's only a horse, but there will be horses and gold chains all throughout this place a lot of times. It's a really good place to find them. A mysterious BT there. Then we'll run up this. Hop on over here. Run up this and see if Sniper Scav's up. Oh no! He's been killed. Whatever shall I do besides take his Scav backpack? And ammunition. Doing a casual body check here. Don't see any, so it doesn't look like the scav boss is up. Either we'd see their body or, you know, player bodies. But there's no body! Ha ha ha. Time to get down. Start going. Just cosplay a mountain goat for a little bit and you'll be, uh, happy hunky-dory. Alright, let's go over to the Ford Operating Base and see if we can score some nice medical supplies. Hopefully nobody's been there. Or is not currently there. I don't know if anything... Oh, a Tarcola spawns here. That's a good thing because that's, uh... Part of the Holodilnik trade. Although realistically at this point I could just buy a Holodilnik, I suppose. They're not that expensive. This is a downed UAV and plane. So I guess this is supposed to be Jaeger's plane. Eager had a little oopsie. Pretty good. Since this is a scav, I'm not concerned about running out in the open. This is definitely a little bit just for cover. Get some of my stamina back. We can make the final push.
Looks like somebody's been here. Another scav. You can tell because the box is open. When you're playing on your PMC, if this is open, that means that a PMC has been through it. Or I, It may also mean that the scav's been through it, I don't know. But when you're on your scav, it only seems to show other scavs going through that stuff. That's all been gone through. Assuming that and that. It looks like somebody did a good once over here. Let's see. Even one there. So they probably know about the rare spawn up in here. Yep, nothing. There's a potential for an ophthalmoscope, but I don't think I've ever seen it. I've seen grizzlies, I've seen IFAX, AFAX, syringes, things of that nature. Oh yeah, whoever went through here was thorough. Super thorough. But, did they get the hidey hole? Potentially got the hidey hole. The hidey, hidey, hidey hole. Alright. There's nothing else for us here. Oh no, it's a puppetish. The puppetish is coming. Must flee. So I can't remember if this is UN or RUAF. I guess we're going to find out. Ooh. It's getting spicy out there. Somebody's just blown through all their ammo. I'm pretty sure this is RUAF, but I am not 100%. No, this is UN, isn't it? No, it is RUAF. Then why does it have the UN? It has Untar right there. I don't understand. I am confused. Garik. Good stuff. Let's toss all this crap into here for now. Here. Uh, here. Oh boy! We're gonna have to do a little organizing. And selling. Organizing. And selling. Holy crap, that thing is huge. It's huge. All right. Uh, there we go. That'll do. do. That and then meh. So we won't get to sell the three M. Oh well. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. That was a good day. That was a good Tarkov day. With that in mind, it is time for me to pause. I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next exciting adventure. Adios.